Hello! Today I'd like to reintroduce you to a meeting dialer app for Windows Phone 7 called Conference Colleague. In this latest version, version 2.0, uh, we have completely overhauled the user interface to give it a more metro feel and also added a suite of new features. As with previous versions, uh, Conference Colleague does have the calendar sync feature which monitors your calendar in the background and updates the live tile with your next conference call. Um, in this case, it detected my next meeting was weekly touch base, ops and infotech. Uh, that was the subject and the location field was just go to meeting. And the date and time of the meeting are here. Now to dial this call, all I have to do is simply tap the tile and conference colleague will launch and automatically start the dialing sequence. So you'll see it had the phone number, any pauses, any access codes that were in the actual meeting invite. Uh, since this was detected as a go-to meeting, it knew to add the hashes and, and certain ones in specific spots. Um, this message is required by Microsoft, so we can't get around that, but we'll just click don't call. Now one of the more significant features added in version 2.0 was the calendar view. In this case, you can view anywhere from one days to two weeks uh, of future meetings on your calendar. And Conference Colleague will actually comb through all those meetings and try to pull out any conference call info it can. Um, if it does find one, it will put a little phone icon next to the meeting. So you'll see this first one here was a go-to meeting, found a phone call. A resolved technical issue, though, that did not have a phone call. Uh, to dial, you simply tap the meeting. See the different numbers here. Uh, you can also view meeting details. So, for instance, if I view this go to meeting, you just press and hold, and the meeting details will pop up. And you'll see that this is a typical go to meeting invite, and from which we actually pulled the dialing info from. And as with previous versions, you can add call profiles. So, we'll just swipe to the right and you'll see all my tiles listed here. You can actually pin these to your start menu or actually dial them right from here. If I click make a call, you'll see it initiates the dialing sequence. If I pin it to my start menu, then tapping that tile will actually initiate the call just as if I were to hit the, the live tile. But we will go ahead and add a new meeting here. So what we want to do here is just give it a name. See so it shows up as test. We'll enter a phone number. You can either use the numeric keypad. Um, if you want to use special characters, you just if you wanted a plus, you can press and hold the zero, and the plus will show up. If you needed any additional characters, if you can press and hold the decimal and see additional characters show up here. Uh, otherwise, you can actually tap your contacts and browse your existing contacts and pull back the phone number that way. Uh, you can also add pauses and dial other things like passcodes, access words, extensions, uh, whatever you need. So we will wait anywhere from 0 to 9 seconds, in this case 3 seconds. And we'll just dial 1, 2, 3, hash, and save. You can also add a photo to your tile. So here we'll just add some mangoes and save. And we'll just hit cancel and you'll see it showing up here now. Now we did add quite a few new settings to version 2.0. So from any screen you can just tap up the menu and tap settings. Now from here you can turn calendar sync on or off. Calendar sync is the actual background process that monitors your calendar and finds your next conference call. If it finds one, it'll update the live tile like you saw earlier, and tapping the live tile will initiate the dialing. Uh, the full version will stay active for up to two weeks, and that's a Microsoft limit. Uh, if you only have the trial version, it will only stay active for uh, up to two hours. Uh, you can also set if you want the location field from your meeting to show up on the live tile or not. You can configure your pause value now some call providers or phones, uh, they only work with either P or commas to actually generate the pauses in the dialing sequence. 
So this will let you pick which one works best for you. Uh, access code preference. This is mainly for Arcadin WebEx calls. Uh, in some cases, when you schedule a meeting or if you get a meeting invite, uh, both, the, both the host and participant codes are in there. So in this case, you can pick which one you want to favor. Uh, if there is another case like this from another call provider, you can contact Goodbar Development and we can get that added. Um, this is where you would actually configure how many days in, in advance you want to show on your actual calendar view. Uh, from that first screen we saw. Uh, this is just set to two days, but you can go anywhere up to two weeks. Uh, also, you can set your startup page preference, either calendar view or the call profile screen. And like before, we do have a full help, so from any screen you can tap up the menu and just tap help. This has full explanations on calendar view, Profiles, calendar sync, pauses, access code preferences, making calls from a variety of places, uh, the trial mode accommodations, and also we have an about. Uh, in here you'll see the latest release notes from all future versions. Uh, we also have an email support button. This will actually launch your, your email, not from the emulator. Um, and if you have any questions or ideas or any feedback at all, uh, please tap email support and let us know your thoughts. I would be happy to incorporate any feedback you have into future versions. Uh, you can also click more apps to see more of Good Bar Development apps. But uh, so that is Conference Colleague version 2.0. I hope you enjoy it. I hope it's very useful for you. And thank you for watching.